Hedge funds are selling stocks at the fastest pace in three months and stepping up short bets. And MicroStrategy leads crypto sector short sellers with over $2 billion in losses since March. Now I'm going to explain why I'm bringing this up. First, the head of the FDIC, US, prepared for potential failure of major Wall Street bank. Bank of New York Mellon, since their last MMI failure last Monday, has activated seven additional accounts. UBS on the brink of Switzerland's too big to fail reckoning. Many people are predicting a market crash on the SPY as well as the Dow Jones coming in the near future and it's going to be just as bad if not worse than 2008. And finally, we have major bank earnings this week like JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, BlackRock, Citi, and State Street. What is going on guys? Lottery Socks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Why did I start the video off with that? Before we get an AMC, I want to cover a couple of things. So short sellers have been ramping up short bets on crypto and they have been taking a hit since last March, yet they still remain confident that Bitcoin is going to crash, cryptos are going to crash, and the market is going to crash. Hedge funds are also selling stocks at the fastest pace in three months and switching to going short. So they're kind of betting that we are about to enter a bear market, but why? Later in the video, I'm going to explain how a couple of these banks that you have heard of the largest banks have had some insight as to what is to come for the economy going forward and the moves that they made so if bitcoin and the overall market end up going one way this could really trigger amc and gamestop to go the other and we're going to talk about it so without further ado please hit the like button it's free it helps me out subscribe to the channel let's get into it run for the exits amc stock is not your ticket to wealth. I can't believe Investor Place is posting things like this as the headline. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse, Investor Place puts out this article with the headline telling you to basically exit AMC stock. AMC stock is going to crash, this, that, and the third. Quoting that they may dilute the stock more. Quoting that the first quarter has a weak box office and that investors should not touch AMC stock with a 10-foot pull. We already knew for a year now that they're going to dilute more shares. We already knew that the first quarter box office isn't well. However, what they forget to reiterate is that the box office is likely to be extremely good for the second half of 2024, all of 2025, and all of 2026. Moving on, Insider just purchased GameStop, buying $112,000 worth of GameStop stock. Larry Chang purchased 10,000 shares, adding on to his current position, now holding 21,000 shares that he has purchased in the past year. What does he see in the charts? Before we get into the charts, I want to cover some numbers. AMC or Tex data has risen again, short interest at 20.56% with 54 million shares shorted, absolutely insane. We come and we take a look at the options chain. We're getting cooked, call to put ratio, basically no calls compared to 21,000 puts expiring in the money. So you're seeing a little bit of gamma to the downside. And then all of this premium going to mark makers, almost 80,000 calls expiring out of the money. Short exempts died down a bit yesterday, but I assume we are going to see a rise based on the price action that we see today over the next two days, okay? So I assume short exempts are going to rise due to the fact that we took a nosedive down another 5%. Couldn't hold that $3 level, now trading at 284. We hit a low of around $2.78, which is just under 30 cents if the split never occurred. Based on what we're tracking, this is exactly what we expected. I don't see anything happening or changing in the charts. Take a look back here from this low to the first flush down. We saw the same amount of time, very similarly, around 55 days, 56 days to the bottom of this flush down. Then you see the consolidation phase at the start of this consolidation phase until the first leg up to consolidation that we should see, right, that you see back here is going to be out about 39 days and that is going to bring us into this consolidation phase we before we move higher as of right now every single thing is setting up to amc hitting a low um either now or april 15th okay that would be the midline where amc should hit a low and then start slowly curling back up and then early may consolidating i think between four dollars and four dollars and 35 cents this is a consolidation phase before that move higher and I don't think it's going to last long. I mean, consolidate for sort of a week before getting another leg higher. So you're seeing about a 55% gain from where we're at now into this channel. And then you're going to see that large move higher. That is one scenario. If they play through another cycle, AMC is getting closer and closer to being delisted. Speaking of playing through another cycle, if GameStop plays through another cycle, 
this is what you see. I deleted a lot of technicals so that the chart was a little bit cleaner over on GameStop. And you can see that where we are trading at right now is playing out to a T in the blue zone, blue cycle, where we channel traded sideways and then flush down, channel traded sideways, flushing down as of right now. This is something that you could see with GameStop if we do end up playing through another cycle. GameStop, in my opinion, coming down to around $10.30, <clears throat> getting a bounce off of this level off of this bottom support trend line that has been descending. I think that's why Larry Chang is purchasing up shares. Uh, I don't know why, but I think it's getting very close to hitting a crucial support level, and it's not a bad time to buy. Uh, this is something that you could see if we did play through another cycle as of right now for GameStop. Overall, the bleed is much slower than AMC. Um, keep in mind, a lot of these shares are DRS as well, if that has any effect on it. Numbers, basically no calls compared to 6,000 puts expiring in the money and then 43,000 calls expiring out of money going to market makers. Short exempt volume rose again. 43,500, pretty high for GameStop. Now, before we get into the market and crypto and a couple other plays, because we need to talk about what happened with the market, how it's reacting and how it is going to affect everything going forward. I want to tell you guys real quick how you can get a fractional share of the Magnificent Seven, Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, NVIDIA, Amazon, Google, and Meta. The Magnificent Seven, the seven stocks that are holding up the market and have been holding up the market, you can get some money into those for free. All you have to do is use my Moomoo link, open an account and make a deposit into there. And if you deposit $100 into there as your first deposit, you're getting a potential three extra shares of these Magnificent Seven. So make sure to go do that. Open a Moomoo account through my link and make a deposit. And also, I just wanted to say that the major bank earnings are coming up this week. We talked about it a little bit in the video, and that is going to affect the market. Moomoo is probably the easiest way personally to track everything earnings wise, right? If you can't find earnings that are coming up the next week or the next month and what's going to happen when the call is, how it's going to affect everything, notifications, this, that, and the third, telling you, use Moomoo, use their interface, go through my link. It is insanely, insanely easy. Last but not least, guys, get in the Discord. The link is right under the video. I'm in on the daily. We talk stocks as well as crypto all day long. I post my personal trades from my personal portfolio as soon as I take them. And we have options trading alerts in there. So get in, you're grandfathered at this price. If you don't have Discord and you're not in any Discords, I'm telling you, just take the step forward and go do it because I used to be in the same boat. Key inflation data was leaked to BlackRock and JP Morgan by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, allowing their traders to make market moving bets. Absolutely disgusting. They got insider information on economics and what moves are they making? You're seeing the market start to sell off. This also comes after March CPI inflation rises to 3.5% above expectations of 3.4 core cpi was 3.8 above expectations of 3.7 this is the 36th consecutive month with inflation above three percent and second straight monthly increase what happened to the fed pivot so inflation came in hot not the best thing for the market markets reacting down 1.12 percent holding this level that we have had drawn out this aggressive level of support. If we break below this, it has one more spot at around 51090. And then after that, the SPY has a few crucial levels, 50350. And then look for a potential hold at 500 or 5000 on the SPY. And I think if we break below that, people are going to start panicking and the market is going to go into some sort of slight correction. Tesla 171.31 down 3% on the day, playing out to a T with what we said, didn't get a full candle close above this level, got rejected, coming back down, and I am still holding my puts until I see something different. And we need to talk about crypto. Bitcoin came back hugging this wedge, fighting for a move higher, and is trying to break higher coming into the halving, as well as Dogecoin. Dogecoin flushed down. However, it held this level of support, and now it is getting a bounce, trying to retest 20 cents once again for that break higher. We need a lot of momentum for the move higher, and it seems like both of these just ended up failing along with crypto as a whole. Now, short sellers are betting that they aren't going to break above and out of this. With the bad inflation report, there's one catalyst left that I think is going to move everything. And if the market reacts bad and if it comes out bad, then crypto is probably going to react bad. It's probably going to come out bad. And that is bank earnings. Bank earnings are this week and we're having some more come over the horizon. We need to watch what happens with bank earnings. Do they come out awful or do they come out actually better than expected, right? That is something that we are going to have to pay attention to. And overall, these are the catalysts for the video. Hope you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to check those links in the description. I love you all. Lottery stocks out.